Greetings and salivations, everyone! I'm Krista, and welcome to Sea Rad. Today I have the complete collection of the Shop Disney The Child Beanbag Plush, so stay tuned. And if you love Grogu and The Mandalorian as much as we do and don't want to miss seeing our videos, please subscribe to our channel and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss seeing us in the future. Sea Rad! Well, hello, 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 everyone. Welcome. We hope everyone's doing totally rad today. Guys, I finally got number four in the Shop Disney UK beanbag collection. So, of course, I'm going to review it and reveal it to you today. But before I do that, I'm going to go over one through three because, guys, they're available here in the U.S. now. Yes, they are finally no longer a Shop Disney UK or Shop Disney International exclusive. We have them here available in the United States. So in case anyone has missed my other reviews, I'm just going to quickly show them all, ending with my newest little cutie. So you guys ready? Let's hop right into it. So the bean bags are a series of four plush dolls, and the first one, guys, was this little cutie with the frog. How adorable is he? This, besides the one at Target that was out around Christmas time that was super huge, this is the only other The Child plush that comes with his little froggy. And he is super duper adorable. So looks wise, they are modeled just like the original Disney Store plush. And height wise, they're about 8 inches high. He's super cute. He's got cute little feeties. And yeah, love his little frog there. So this was the first one to come out. The second little dude to show up was this guy right here. And it is the child with his bone broth bowl and it's empty and actually the bowl's like a hard plastic so you could put something inside there to make it look like he was drinking. I wouldn't put liquid in there guys but you could put something inside there and hold it in there but he is also the same size as the one with the frog that eight inches tall and again super duper adorable. Now when I saw what number three was I was just over the moon excited because this is something extremely unique that nobody else has done and guys, look, it's the child with the squid in the bowl. That was one of my favorite scenes from the entire season when he was sitting there playing with the soup and the squid was like right on his face. I love that. So really excited that this one had the squid bowl. The squid, it's just the tentacles. It's not an entire squid, guys, but they are a little plushy. But the bowl, it's that same plasticky material that the one on the little bone broth cup is. So it's not going to bend and squish too much on you. Again, guys, I really wish they had done this on the version that came out with the pod. I wish the pod was made like this, but unfortunately it wasn't, and if you missed my review on that, right there for you guys, and you can watch it when you're done with this one if you want to see that one. So we got the three little cuties, one, two, and three, and then I had made a prediction that I thought the fourth one was going to have a cookie. And we found out when I saw which one was released that that was not the case. But guys, here he is. It's the little meditating Grogu. How super adorable is he, guys? I love him and the details on this one, even though it just looks like a plain little plush, are incredible. So let's take a closer look. So he's got the really cute little closed eyes because, guys, he's in Zen mode there, you know, Zen. And his hands actually show that as well. Look at his little fingers together. He's like totally meditating hard there. He's like, um. So I was curious when I saw the pictures of him if he was going to have feeties because it really didn't show them in the picture. And guys, the feeties are the best part. Look at these. They are so super cute. So he does have his full legs and they just have him bent up together like he's sitting almost cross-legged and meditating. But oh, he is super duper adorable. And of course, on our scale of totally bad to totally rad, this little dude is definitely a totally rad. He's just so adorable. I love it. So now with him, I have the complete collection, all four. 
I had actually bought mine off of Amazon and had them shipped from the UK and doing that they were about $25 to $30 a piece. This guy's actually on sale on Amazon right now for $25 but on Shop Disney and in the Disney stores these guys in the US sell for $16.99. I think that's a fair and decent price for them and I really don't regret getting them because guys had they not been released in the US I would have had them all and yeah I'm super happy with my decision to go ahead and do that but I'm also really excited now that people here in the US who wanted them who didn't want to pay that much now have the option because they are so cute all four of them together guys look at that so I am still going to get little doll stands and they're probably going to be back here on the shelf so that you can see them in the videos. Yeah, I think they'll look super cute back there. Now, the plushes weren't the only part of the collection to come to the U.S. The pins are also available here now and for the pins we've got pin number one, pin number two, pin number three, and pin number four. So yes, all four pins on those, guys. The Squid Bowl pin is my absolute favorite. And yeah, it's on my wish list. So hopefully within the next couple weeks I can order that. And fingers crossed it doesn't sell out because I just love it. The little squid is supposed to move. So yeah, I'm excited to get that one. I'd like to get all four eventually, but the Squid one is number one on my priority list. As far as these little dudes go, if I had to rank them on my favorite to least favorite, my least favorite's probably the Bone Broth Bowl, just because there's so much stuff out there. Pins, and you've got the little plush accessory from Build-A-Bear that you can use with the Build-A-Bear and with the Mattel. So the Bone Broth Bowl, to me, it, it's not boring, but it's overdone. So yeah, he's probably definitely my least favorite. Sorry, dude. But when I say least favorite, guys, it's the child. So I adore them all to the moon and back. But yeah, he comes in at number four out of four. And then my second favorite, guys, even though he's got the really awesome feeties, the meditating plush. She's cute, but yeah, he's number three on my list from going from 4321. Definitely number three on my list. Number two on my list is the one with the little froggy, just because the frog is so adorable looking, and the way he's holding him, it's just so super cute. He's like, here, see my frog. He's my friend, not food. <laughs> so yeah, you're number two, dude. And then, yeah, of course, my favorite one is the squid bowl, because it's so cute. And like I said, it's one of my favorite moments from season two. And it's just really, it's funny. <laughs> it's, it's my favorite because it's funny. But again, I love and adore them all so, so very much. But guys, I forgot to mention the cost of the pins. The pins are $15.99 each. So that's a little expensive, but I think they're a little bit bigger than your standard size Disney pin. But fingers crossed they don't sell out before I get that one that I really want and I can show you what the actual size is in the near future here. But in the meantime, if you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more awesome and totally rad The Child and Mandalorian things in the future, please subscribe to our channel and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss seeing us. And I guess there's only one thing left to say, right little dude? We'll see you later.